I started my career in 2002 in an offbeat ERP system called System ESS. I worked there for six months and I got fed up with it. I didn't see any growth opportunities and I moved on to Java. I worked in Java for two, two and a half years, but my ERP background kind of haunted me. So I had a very good friend who kind of continued with this system and he became um, a very good ERP consultant and he got trained in SAP and I thought this looks very good. So I got trained in SAP for a period of one month and, uh, and tried to get a job for almost around two to three months. But still, I could not get a job. Then I got in touch with this friend of mine who was already into SAP as an SD consultant and uh, he said he could help me teach SD. So I got in touch with him. He taught me SAP SD for around a month or so and I started looking out again. So within one, one and a half month, I got my first SAP job. Now, why am I telling you this boring history? There are three things that I want you to know from this. First thing is anybody can learn SAP. It doesn't matter what your background is. If you are a Java guy or some other ERP guy or an Oracle guy, it doesn't matter. Anybody can learn SAP. I'm not just saying SD. It could be anything. SD, MM, PP, FICO, ABAP, you name it. You can learn anything in SAP irrespective of your background. The second thing is because of my background in system ESS, learning SAP was a little bit easy. But if you had somebody who could uh, help you with some of the concepts, that's fine. So a little bit of sales or ERP background, ERP background is preferable. So it make your life easy uh, to learn SD, for example, if you had sales or an ERP background. And number three is train with somebody who's going to give you those concepts in ERP very well, not just the configuration. And that's what I am going to do in this training. And when I look back at this two months and analyze why I did not get my job or why I did not even remotely foresee getting a job, that was because I was not trained right. I knew something in SPRO, but that was about it. I almost failed every interview that I've taken. That is until my friend helped me with some of the real-time concepts and the configuration issues and user exits and stuff like that. So the third and most important point that I want you to take away is understand SAP from a business perspective. Perspective. In fact, nobody is ever going to ask you a lot of questions on SPRO in any interview. They're going to say, okay, what was the configuration that you have done in pricing? What was the most difficult configuration that you have encountered in credit management? What kind of user exits you have worked on? These are the kinds of questions that you should be ready to answer. And unless you understand SD or SAP from the perspective of business and business problems, you'll not be able to answer such type of questions, which will make your learning not very useful. So anybody can learn SAP. If you have a background in ERP or sales, better, but that's not mandatory. And most importantly, try and understand SAP from a business perspective. And that's what I'm going to give you in this course.